I don't understand the fucking um the hate Tony Hinchcliffe gets, right? I don't get it. I don't understand it. I know he's a, he comes across like a bit of a cunt. He might be a bit of a bitch, but I don't really know why people really hate him to the level that I see on the Joe Rogan sub. Whenever his face, his name is mentioned, there's a lot of, you know, bad replies and things that people don't like about him. And also when you go on the fucking um, Kill Tony Reddit, you see a lot of people also not being biggest fans of him don't get me wrong he doesn't come across the be- the greatest on kill tony sometimes he does come across like a bit of a cunt but i think also you have to be you know a little bit conscious of the arena he's in i'm assuming being a club full of open micers isn't the easiest right you kind of have to you kind of have to adopt that stance and that kind of persona that he has to kind of deal with those level of delinquents right that are all in that room or trying to you know um fucking you know trying to get a spot on the show and do well and impress people and stuff it's probably a weird energy in there and by and large open micers i'm assuming are generally fucking on the fringes of society anyway these people you know what i mean that go to type of events you would imagine like because they're probably all actual you know real comics but you know varying levels of uh mental health let's say so this clip might explain why some people don't like tony because of how he replied to this but i also think you know did, there was nothing too bad about it. So let's just see what you guys think. Again, we got the courtesy of the Fire Kids subreddit guys for putting this up there. I think this is um this will maybe show why some people maybe don't like Tony Hinchcliffe. Let's see if I can get this zoomed in. Let's play his video. Exactly what I do. I, I understand. You fell I get right it, into my I, trap. I, you thought I, you were just gonna come up here and sing about Joe Rogan, and yeah. he was gonna carry you off, fucking piggyback <laughs> style. <laughs> come on, we're gonna go. <laughs> That's You're funny. coming to my castle. I want to have you on the show tomorrow, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you do realize that was the plan, right? That didn't happen. Of course. But yeah. No, there's only yeah. enough room for me on that piggyback right. ride, my friend. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, uh. You right. do get up in there, man. I've noticed that. <laughs> what? You do get up in there. It, absolutely. Yeah. It's good. I'm glad. I'm glad to have a best friend like that. I know, man. No doubt about it. Is he, it bad that I admire your ass kissing skills? I really no, do. No, it's not ass kissing at all. He doesn't like people that kiss his ass. I actually challenge him sometimes where most people around him are just yes men. That's why he That's right. uh, finds me endearing. That's good, man. That's good. You man. fucking faggot. <laughs> but I, I really wasn't to te- trying to come at you, This guy trying man. to test the fucking waters. Hey, I, I admire your ass kissing. But I wasn't trying to come at you. I actually think it's amazing what you've done, man. It's okay. It's okay. I know. I know. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I know. I have a fully operational. I used to come by the store years ago when I first got into comedy, and I watched your rise, and it was really impressive, man. Absolutely. Watch you rise up his ass. So. Absolutely. I don't remember seeing you in the audience. Of course. Good reply, to be fair. Don't get me wrong. What do you think? Do you think Tony Hinchkey came across as a cunt there? Let me know in this chat. What do you guys think? Uh, put C's if you think cunt, and put... Uh, A's if you think oh, all right. A's if he was all right, or C if he was a cunt. Let me know in the chat. What do you guys think? How did Tony Hinchcliffe come across in that exchange? Because that guy tried to give it to him, and he did reply back well. I think it was good. I think it was a fair exchange. The guy called him out for also being an ass kisser because he tried to ask kiss, and he also was able to stand up for himself in a decent way. I see A's. I see some C's. C's. <laughs> okay pro crack the whole interaction was gay okay fair play <laughs> two and a half one and a half seats <laughs> from jared mellerick brandon uche a phone out um c too big for the phrase bridges <laughs> says richie see you next tuesday <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I think I think I'm in a minority here. I think I don't get it when it comes to fucking um uh, what you call it, Tony Hinchkin. Someone else says something to me here. Hold on. Roadman Williams says uh Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, can you imagine this is the word? Ra Rodman Williams, I admire you for still listening, man. I admire you. I dropped off Listen to T Fat K when? I don't know what episode number. I think I dropped off just as they left that studio where they were sitting like that, like a news desk. I think I left, I dropped off after that. Maybe when, when, when Brendan dyed his hair white, maybe that's might have been the last time I listened to a full show. Pardon, but yeah, um, loads of C's. Okay, there are loads of C's. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm in the minority here. I don't think Tony Gish is that bad, but the chat thinks he's a cunt. So I guess he's a cunt. <laughs> what can you do? 
I can't. I'm just a fucking. I'm just a fucking. Um, I'm a nobody. I'm just a one person. You guys all have way more. You know. Um, what you call it stronger opinions than I do and probably way more knowledge of this stuff than I do and probably watch way more of this stuff than I do but I just dip in here and there but I don't think it's too bad but it looks like most people think Tony's a fucking cunt but credit to this guy though for the light jabs and getting um under Tony's skin getting him all hot and flustered that was really good so bravo to you guy whoever you are um bravo you just you know you deserve a little round of applause there for putting it back on him again and having tony basically have to defend his right to be drogan's ass kisser but also i hold him up actually like that was that was very gay right him just no actually he likes me because i actually question him like bro like wipe the cum off your fucking mouths and get up man stand the fucking up bro relax you know what i mean go wash your hands or swallow whatever you need to do and get your life together bro like that was really really gross but anyway um <laughs> let's continue